I've lived in New York City all of my life and never knew I could see an eagle or even a hummingbird until I moved to Staten Island, the greenest borough of New York City. I wanted to see an eagle that wasn't in a cage. And I eventually did. I saw eagles in the sky, in the nest, and I think I even observed them mating. This video documents some of my experiences. Throughout the seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter, I'd scan the skies and trees. I knew it would take some time. After all, bald eagles haven't nested in Staten Island in over 100 years. Here's a northern flicker and some American robins eating some sumac berries. These are juncos eating seeds. I saw many interesting animals before I saw an eagle. Seals visit Staten Island in winter. There aren't many places safely away from shore for them to rest. Even these seals seem annoyed at having to be so close to one another. Kind of like a crowded subway. Look at these four fat butter balls piled on top of that tiny rock. They're so darn cute. You can see an injury on the seal's belly on the right. From the shape of it, maybe it's a small shark bite. It's great to see these seals, but I wondered where were those eagles? Due to lack of natural predators and increasing development, the deer population has become a concern. City officials decided to try to control the deer population purely with a controversial vasectomy program, performing surgery on every single male deer they can find in Staten Island. However, there's always new deer coming from New Jersey, males propelled by the urge to mate. The three-year program is two years in and already over budget, costing the city $4.1 million. I took this video recently, January 20th, 2019. It's a buck chasing a doe on Highland Boulevard. He chases her from one side and then back to the other side. This little one panicked and instead of going through the deer trail, it ran out into the open meadow. That's the way. Bye little deer. This is another critter I saw quite a bit of around the edges of the woods. 
As you can see from the homes and the food and stuff, someone out there really cares about them. It looks like a mini tent city for kitties. Hopefully they're being spayed and neutered and people aren't just dumping their cats here because it does have an impact on native birds in particular. Some people think the rules don't apply to them. This is a red ear slider turtle, often kept as a pet. It competes with native species such as the painted turtle, which is smaller and does not breed as fast. This duck is called the northern shoveler, named after its bill. The next two birds are loons. I've never heard their calls in Staten Island. They have an eerie haunting sound like this. Here's a picture of what a male looks like during breeding season. These are called Atlantic Brent, a small goose that travels all the way to the high arctic tundra to breed. This is a common tern. It's related to both seagulls and skimmers. These are cormorants. They're excellent at catching fish and still used in China by fishermen who tie them with strings so they can reel them back in after they've caught fish. This one sustained some kind of injury to its wing. See this stringy yellow orange stuff that sort of looks like spaghetti? It's called cascuta or dotter. It's actually a parasitical plant which is unable to produce its own chlorophyll like green plants, so they suck moisture and nutrients from host plants. Here's a possum, probably foraging for food. Back to the search for the eagles, we saw quite a few birds of prey in the sky. This one's easy to recognize, it's an osprey. I can't say with certainty what the other birds are. If you can, please leave a comment below. It takes a lot of patience to find a bald eagle, just like these men fishing in the cold. Pollution, such as PCBs, dioxin, and cadmium, makes it a health concern to consume certain fish or too many of them. The good news is Staten Island's water has improved lately. And this may very well be the main reason why the eagles have returned. One of the great things about Staten Island is the access to the ocean. Although it cannot compare to, say, Bermuda's wonderful weather or crystal blue waters, there is peace and quiet to be had here, especially in winter, with scenery that stretches for miles.
these cute little kids are just having fun. This murky water isn't meant for snorkeling. Many people do not swim in this water, however. These videos don't show all the garbage that gets washed on the shores of Staten Island. Once I found a syringe with a hypodermic needle still in it, I reported it to the Parks Department, but it took them over a month to remove it. It finally happened. Two adults flying in the sky together. I was nervous and I fumbled with my camera, trying to get the closest eagle in focus. It didn't last long, but it was pretty amazing to me. Here's another adult on a separate occasion, right from a parking lot. So high up, and yet you could see the top of its wings as it curves in the wind. This might not be a big deal to a lot of people but especially for Staten Island, where eagles have not known to nest for over 100 years, it's pretty special. I apologize for the video. The sun was in my eyes and my arms were in an awkward position. I just wanted to pause the video for a second to show you where I'm taking this video from. It's the Mount Loretto parking lot. This tall man-made structure provides a great lookout for the eagle, even though it can get extremely windy up there sometimes. Other birds will use this as a perch as well, like this turkey vulture. I still wondered where the nest was. After all, Staten Island is tiny compared to the rest of the country. Before I show the next video, I want to advise against visiting the nest because the views are obstructed even with binoculars and a camera with a decent zoom. And obviously, if everyone went stampeding there, it would disturb the eagles. It's tucked between someone's mansion and a busy road. The mansion owner happened to be home and noticed my binoculars, and he claimed he saw them bring fish every morning. You're about to see two videos. The first video, video number one, contains what I believe to be them mating, but I'll let you be the judge. Remember, the views aren't good, so it's hard to see what's going on. This first video was interrupted by someone driving an SUV. It was a random driver. He decided to pause in the street at that moment to chat with the two of us. We talked about eagles he'd seen in Long Island while his cute little boy looked bored in the back seat. His vehicle idled noisily longer than I cared for, but I didn't want to be rude. Finally, he left and I filmed the second video. Here's the first. Thank 
dead in there. He was just on top of her. This is the surest way to see an eagle on Staten Island. As you can see, they really like perching on top of this. This is the closest I ever attempted to get. It was close enough for me. If someone really wanted to get a close-up picture of the eagle in flight, they could be patient and hope the eagle either lands here or takes off. But you'd have to be really patient and lucky. Because sometimes the eagle doesn't move for hours. Like I said, they really like it up there. It's a great thing to see people being interested and respectful of nature. Staten Island is a great place for it, and I hope it remains that way. It's great to get away from urban settings, the noise, the crowds, even just for a few moments, to focus on something peaceful, calming, earthy. Oh, 